wiki.easyvid.com. Search EasyVid Wiki before you decide. EasyVid presents the 10 best studio mixers. Let's get started with the list. Starting off our list at number 10. If you're short on space or have limited needs, the Mackie Mix series is worth a look. The 5-channel model is a mere 6.5 inches wide, and even the 12-channel one is only 13 inches. Despite the size, it still provides high-quality audio. It offers a comfortable layout and is affordable for the quality. However, it has no USB output. At number 9, if you need a tiny setup for personal use at home or on the road, the Yamaha MG10XU is a good choice. It includes a standard 3-band equalizer on each of its channels, as well as effects level and pan control knobs to help refine your tracks. It's equipped with 10 inputs and a rugged metal chassis, but it can get a bit hot. Coming in at number 8 in our list, the Mackie VLZ4 series has a low noise floor and high headroom, limiting distortion in your recordings to less than 0.0007%. It's relatively compact for the range it offers and is protected by a powder coated steel casing. It's equipped with high contrast controls that are resistant to dirt, however it wears out more quickly than others. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easyvid.com. Go there now and search for Studio Mixers, or simply click beneath this video. At number 7, the Alesis Multimix 4 USB is a reliable choice for home studios. It allows you to record directly to your computer as you mix the audio live, minimizing the amount of work you need to do in post-production, while bypassing the need for a memory card or interface. It provides 48 volts of phantom power and separate effects return levels but the sound quality could be better. Moving up our list to number 6. Well suited for musicians practicing their craft, the Zoom LiveTrack L12 is a robust option that can feed directly into your chosen digital audio workstation while porting separate audio to your headphones. Its low noise floor yields crisp clear audio. It boasts 5 headphones outputs and a built-in metronome. However, the effects are not track specific. Halfway up our list at number 5. Don't let the size of the Behringer Xenix 1202FX fool you. It's a dynamic tool with four powerful preamps and a wide range of ways to manipulate audio on each channel. It comes with 100 multi-FX presets and access to over 150 FX plugins, but it requires a separate interface. At number 4, the Mackie ProFX V3 series is a powerful choice at an affordable price, with a USB output that allows you to send two custom mixes from your computer to the mixer. There are a variety of available models ranging from 6 to 30 input channels. It offers a maximum 60 decibels of gain and easily blended monitoring. It includes recording software. Nearing the top of our list at number 3, with a 3-band equalizer on all 8 channels, 4 XLR inputs and 256 special effects, the Alto Professional ZMX122FX is a workhorse that won't break the bank. It's compact for the capabilities, making it suitable for both the road and as a permanent studio fixture. It features 16 inputs, an angled chassis for good visibility, and is compatible with foot switches. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easyvid.com. Go there now and search for Studio Mixers, or simply click beneath this video. At number 2, the reasonably priced Tascam DP32SD Digital offers professional level audio quality and controls, but its layout makes it easier to navigate than similar models. A raised color LCD provides easy real-time monitoring across an impressive 32 channels. It includes hybrid XLR inputs, self-illuminating buttons, and a 4GB memory card. And coming in at number 1 in on our list, the Rode Rodecaster Pro is one of the best picks for novice and experienced podcasters. With 4 mic inputs and phone connection options for remote interviews, it offers flexibility that most can't match. It's a compact construction with a programmable sound effects pad and an intuitive configuration. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easyvid.com.
www.studiomixes.com. Go there now and search for Studio Mixes or simply click beneath this video. 